I think some conservatives are lulling themselves into complacency because they believe that Joe Biden is a kind of moderate guy. He's not Bill de Blasio. He's not Elizabeth Warren. He's not Bernie Sanders. He's just a kind of moderate guy, right? Therefore, it doesn't really matter if Trump wins. Joe Biden is not awake. <laughs> Joe Biden doesn't remember his name sometimes. Joe Biden's campaign is being run by radicals. Don't take my word for it. Campaign just issued its spending plan. You know how expensive the Joe Biden campaign spending plan is? The moderate campaign spending plan? $10 trillion. $10 trillion with a T. $2 trillion to fight climate change. So 20%, 2 trillion of that price tag is going to be spent launching a battle against the sun monster. 1.3 trillion for infrastructure. I can actually get behind infrastructure in theory, except that usually that money is just completely wasted. You know, you're driving on the highway and you see 15 guys standing around doing nothing. And then one guy maybe swinging a hammer and you say, that's there's a government union job. There it is. So in theory, it's maybe it's okay, but in practice, probably not. $750 billion for healthcare. I thought, I thought Barack Obama and Joe Biden solved the healthcare problem. What was it now? 10 years ago? 11 years ago? Remember Joe Biden himself said, this is a big effing deal. Well, how come we need to spend three quarters of a trillion dollars on healthcare if you already solved it 10, 11 years ago? Because there's no end to it. There's no solving it. There's no solving it with, it's just going to be more and more and more money. $750 billion for higher education. That's what we need. We need to uh, send three quarters of a trillion dollars to our modern day madrasas, the madrasas of liberalism, to, to borrow a phrase from my friend Josh Hammer, who th these schools, all they do is indoctrinate people in leftist ideology. A lot of money for that. $700 billion for Biden's Buy American plan, which apparently he stole from Bernie Sanders. $640 billion for housing. $125 billion for Biden's opioid plan. What is the Biden's, what is the opioid plan? This last time I could tell, all the left is trying to do is legalize more and more drugs. Maybe they're going to, maybe it's $125 billion to legalize them. $30 billion for criminal justice reform means springing, springing inmates out of prisons, although frankly, Republicans aren't any better on that. And $750 billion for preschool and K through 12, which is where most of the educational battles are really fought. It happens, the, the indoctrination happens long before college. So three quarters of a trillion for that. And then more than three quarters of a trillion for universal preschool, expanded child care. You know, get those kids out of the home as soon as possible. Get them into state-sponsored education camps. Ten trillion on all sorts of bad stuff. Those are the stakes. Don't let anybody tell you that Joe Biden is going to be the moderate guy. That's not moderate. The moderation is gone. Joe Biden is a guy who doesn't want to do anything as president. He wants to be president. He wants bridges to be named after him and highways to be named after him. He's going to let all the policymaking be done by the younger people who are much, much more radical. I hope you enjoyed that short segment from the Michael Knowles show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Mm -hmm.